Welcome to Red V TV, supported by A Star Recruitment for the 2022 season as we continue our build up to the new campaign, which is now exactly three weeks away. And we all know how many days are in three weeks, Kevin? 21. And that can only mean one thing, David. It's Josh Sim. Do you know what? Right, first time. Slick, slick as ever. Um, <laughs> Just Sim. Whoa, it's another centre. <laughs> Proudly sponsored by Horizon, who are generating business and they are the business network, networking and support group. Kevin, talk us through Josh Sim. Um, Josh, currently 20 year old centre, well, outside back at Carling. Um, he's, he's, I think he can play a little bit of wing as well. Grandson of Jeff Pimlet, uh, a legend at the club. Um, He's had a bit of game time over at Lee and he's had a bit of game time in the Red B as well. Uh, he's scored a hat-trick against Leeds, hasn't he? So he knows his way to the try line. As I said with Ben Davis's um, profile yesterday, and it's it's not a negative thing, it's a big year for, for Josh, I think. Um, it's a big year for him to kind of put himself above what you call more established players and for him to, to kind of cement his place in in the uh, in the match day squad with Regan Grace obviously missing the first part of the season the first month or so is Josh somebody who could be considered to to take up that wing slot yeah there's a, there's a couple of different like permutations there aren't there where you could kind of shift people about um i think Christian Wolf likes keeping it settled but I think Josh could be in with the shout, you know, of, of being out on, on the wing um, and, and playing next to next to Percy for a couple of weeks. And, and it's almost like we've said it numerous times here, the Jack Wellsby way of coming in, playing where you're asked to, doing a great job and them knowing that if there is an injury, a suspension, or you know what, a loss in form even, that he should be the next cab off the rank. He should be the one who is getting the game time. I may be wrong, but I seem to remember last season, Christian Wolf. I think there was a number of times where Josh was meant to get his opportunity, wasn't there? And, and circumstances meant that either the games got cancelled or injuries uh, got in the way. Um, so he's probably been a little bit unlucky over, over the last two years. And, and COVID has probably, is it fair to say, hindered his development and, and chances in the team? Yeah, that's it. When, when you put it, as you say, that his, his chances have, have kind of been snatched away from him then definitely um we, we've put a number of young centers into the team and they've done well you, you look probably the two main ones i think over the past couple of years josh jones and mark percival um and josh sim seems to be of that ilk that he, he can come in and he's he's not phased by it um and he, he can he can hold his own in the first team um, it is a shame that his, his chances have been snatched away, but I suppose that's that's a life of, of professional sport, that your chance might come up, and you know what? It should be your goal, and for one reason or another, it doesn't end up being. Um, I've no doubts that he'll get a couple of games in the first team this year, um, as I say, and it is all down to, to players and, and performances that he needs to then keep hold of that and make sure that he's always in at least the 21-man squad and him be pushing to be in the 17. It's a fantastic photograph. Leaving a Leeds player crying on the floor. <laughs> it, is, it looks like he's having, uh, like, a, what is it, the, the Harry Balls, the, the Sours. Looks like that's what he's doing. He's bit off more than he can chew there. But no, that's it. He's, yeah, this is a great picture of him. Better than poor Ben Davis's yesterday, wasn't it? He had a sulfur play with no number on his back. It's like it's like a, a spot, like yesterday it was like spot where the number should be. Today is if you were doing a spot the grass. Yeah. <laughs> What's that grass doing up there? It's motoring. Sims <laughs> motoring though. That's why. That's why it's up. Must be. Just him when he has had his opportunity, he's looked exciting in the red V, hasn't he? He has, yeah. That's it. He, he looks like one of these, uh, one of the bright prospects from from the academy. Um, he looks like like someone who, who kind of wants to follow his, his granddad's footsteps and become 
a, a Saints player for, for many a year. Um, so that's it. He, he, listen, he's got every chance. And I think I said it earlier when we started doing all of these, that Saints fans love a local boy with a story coming through into the first team. And I think fans will be on his side, obviously, because because he is exactly that. He is a local lad who has had a good opportunity, taken it when he's been in, obviously dropped out for your, your more established players. But again, can push on and can make it and, and make it to be a good first team player. Okay, so that's our number 21. Josh Sim, um, we're flying through them, and we'll oh, be yeah. back tomorrow. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you soon at Red V TV.